right, all right. So after spending some more time refining all the shapes of camera, because I, it is not super comfortable to, to sculpt with the phone in here, this is what we have. I managed to, to pull a, a, a smile, but super subtle smile in his face, which is showing confidence, but at the same time he's focused, he's not too old, but not too young. We had the kind kind of square chin, chin here, some more volumes in the cheeks, the eyes the nose everything has been retouched a bit since the last session i did also complete the school and fix the ears a bit so now it's time for painting and in order to do this paint job i will use the same method where i have water in here i will use some Isopropyl and cobalt. Sorry for the Spanish wordings, but that's what it is. I wrote it in Spain. Okay, so my PA. I'm not going to explain how the tint stays in the clay again. I eat some mix of water and, and isopropyl alcohol. But what I would like to explain is maybe the uh, skin tones. And I will go a bit realistic. If I was if I had planned to, to go comic style, like uh, the whole uh, in this style, I wouldn't use uh, the flogging in the in the skin tone and so on, because you can see here there is already some skin breakup for us, some stuff that looks like veins, and it's not looking quite appealing right now because it's too pale. But as soon as we put some red in, in here, you will see how it comes alive. And I will try to, to do it in a realist, realistic way. But I want to be really subtle. For instance, we will use this green mix in order to do all the, all the beard and mustache area. It's going to be a bit shady on the, on the shade side of things. It's not going to be super obvious, but slightly tinted in, in this bluish greenish mix and I will try to, to get a realistic result because I, as always I'm trying to portray comic looks in a realistic way so that's that's what I like, enjoy doing and that's what we are going to do now so let me start with the red and we are going to start with this size of brush because we don't want to go too thin or super big because it is not comfortable to work with a big brush and a small one is going to just slow us down so this is small enough for what we are going to do at the beginning then I, I will switch to a, to a smaller one which is this one for some fine work but at the moment we are staying with this one so what we, what we need to do is to pick some of this isopropyl alcohol with the brush and then go into this mix of water and red that I have here. Let me show it to you. This is some premixed stuff that I've got. It's red, some purple, blue, some brown and the greenish mix. The yellow we are not going to use it because it's, it, it results in a super strong uh, result and I'm, I'm not I don't want to mess up with Superman really so need some more water you need to have enough water in the mix because the more water you have the more transparent the result is going to be or and I I think that's providing me flexibility because I, I can evaluate where we are going without going full throttling with the red, you know, we can slow down stuff and really see what's happening 
and evaluate if we need more red or we are fine and so on. So yeah, it's, as you can see it's red. And I always start in the nose. I like to start tinting the nose first. Don't know why. I'm not sure you are going you are going to see it because it, it is quite subtle. We just dab the surface like this. Oh, sorry, I was off camera. Can you see the red in the nose already happening? That's what we want. So red is applied almost everywhere. Well, not, not everywhere, but uh, whenever you have this uh, red color or red tone in your skin is because the, the blood is heavily flowing in that area, in the surface of, of that part of, the, of your face. So it's not in a skinny surfaces where you are going to find the red, but on maybe whenever you have have muscles, okay, big muscles. And then whenever you have fat, uh, that's going to be yellow or daystone. And in the bony areas, you may also see some white yellow because of the bone seen through somehow. And then you will have some blue as well in some shadow areas that we will put later on, I'll show you. it carefully because we don't go we don't want to mess this up at this point so we are going to be careful with the tinting starting to come to life just by adding some red yeah, the red here works like almost like magic it's quite fantastic result Sometimes I 
will just go with some alcohol and clean up if I believe we went too far. Okay, so now that we have almost finished applying the ref, we will start applying some glue, super diluted glue. And we will apply it in the shadow areas, mainly, so in the eyes. Okay, and that's going to provide some, some more depth to the, to the result. We are not looking to paint it, but just to provide us some, some more depth. Okay. I want more, more water, more subtle. We want to walk even more subtle there. Much better. As you can see, see, now we are barely painting there. Okay. Okay, we will use this thinner brush with the lips. We are going to go red and purple or violet between purple and violet. That's where we are, more or less. We will also apply some purple to the eyes. And we will even go stronger with red and purple with the fine brush. better okay so this is start starting to be almost completely drafted maybe we are too strong on the lips so I might remove a little bit more but as you can see the red is already making this pop it's giving it so much light and so much life, right? So let's keep on working on the lips. I always struggle getting some of these striations in the lips to show through my, my paint work. I 
pretty smooth DC, definitely not easy. They are so small. At least using this technique, maybe with acrylics it's easier. to remove some red and provide even more breakup right now I would like to try something different here I'll try to to do some brown spots. Let's see how it works. I will start. There's what in the back of the head. Yeah, that's what we want. Those small specks of brown. That's what we want to give even more breakup to the skin. I'm not sure Kryptonians have irregular skin, but I want to give this guy proper, uh, human properties. Okay, so now back to the big one. We are going to try and apply some of this super diluted green mix to simulate a shaved beard. Beard. And mustache, but a shaved one like shave in the morning you know but still it, the the hair leaves this kind of shade in our faces guys you know what i mean even if you are fully shaved you still have this shade kind of shade and we are going to achieve this effect even tinting right now because I cannot see it Now we are going to pick some look. To do some super thin vein work.
Try to write. Ya lo vimos a the end of chapter 2. Ok, so lastly we are going to use black, pure black, in some areas, like inside the nose and so on. We have it over there. It's pure black, you will see. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so we try to go around there. Okay, we shall bake this and I'll be back with the result. <laughs> 